All right. That's a big knot, actually. Oh, that's some good scrubbing. Um, doesn't usually scrub, actually, but but yeah, it, it does scrub, just doesn't usually. Uh, <clears throat> okay. I'm going to make this a 48 hour vlog now because I kind of did the video last night and then I stopped filming. I just didn't do it anymore. So why not? Let's make it two days on, on the telly. Um, we are eight kilometers out of gunshot. We've still only done 35 k's of this. I think it's a 300 k track. <sighs> Apparently the first, first bit is very time consuming. I reckon we'll only be here for three days. Sorry, very long, long wheelbase. Means I need a three point turn. About to go through a little river crossing here. More scrubbing. hours on the old telly um, <clears throat> look I'd love to know if you enjoy these kind of videos and I will make them look 100% I will make more videos like this in the future it's just that it will never be a staple because it's not my forte it's not my specialty it's not not something I'm particularly um, passionate about either and I think that the passion is, is, is really important in making a video um, I love food I love camping and I like four wheel driving. But this kind of a trip, this is different. I love this. I actually love this. This is so cool. So that's why I'm videoing it. Because I just thought, well, shit, I'm loving this. So why wouldn't I share it? Oh, this is great. And um, uh, Colin, who's on the trip, he will have a four wheel driving video up. So I'm going to put, I'll put his channel on the screen and there's a link in the description to his channel and that will be like much more outside stuff and, and much more forward driving because he loves it and that's, that's the thing he's passionate about it so it's exactly what he should be doing so I'll stop rambling and keep driving as with lots of my videos there is a code word somewhere in this episode I'm back in Perth now just editing up this video now somewhere in here I'm going to put a code word I don't know what it is yet you don't know what it is yet but somewhere it's going to be in there put the code word down in the comments below and one of you I will send a book might even be someone who abuses me who knows no it won't be it's a little secret probably won't send you one if you abuse me well maybe it will I don't know it depends if it's funny if it's funny abuse yeah don't say why not Ah, that's a good choice. A cub. I saw these guys yesterday actually. They busted a tire on the on the cruiser. <clears throat> but the scout seems to be doing well. So just for reference, the scout is the like less off-road version of my my cab trailer. Um, and here they are. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. In fact, it's very awesome. There you go. Hey, puppy. Come here. Come here. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Hello, buddy. Hey? You're loving it, aren't you? Have you got a hand? Oh, oh that's not fun. Pat. What? Honey. Patrick, that's not have a you got track? a CB? Yeah. That's not a track, that's just a hole. Yeah, she's got one. They're on 28. Oh, we're trying to find these the whole time. We're trying oh, to I've been them. going on 14. Now we can pick yeah. this up. What? What? These aren't. I did. I tried driving as This is bullshit. This is just a hole. Yeah, it'll end up on the roof. Don't say that. <laughs> Don't say that. I'm panicking. Is yours the cub? Yeah. Great choice. But. <laughs> great choice of camper, but holy shit, <laughs> driving it down here is going to be fun. I'd say that, she's worrying. It's off in there or what? Alright, here comes the scout. <clears throat> You're not stressed or anything, are you? <laughs> it's no, it's not her at camper. All. <laughs> she's not stressed. No, she's fine. Oh, it's alright. 
this really nice, easy. Holy shit. <laughs> And clench. Well, I should oscillate this thing. <laughs> Hope your brake control has turned up. <laughs> done really very well. He's hung up there in the front. Camper's on there. Oh yeah. yeah. The camp is bottom out, Dal. But not not by much, to be honest. It's just dragging a little bit. But. <laughs> Quick winch off the other seventy nine. Rachel, take it in, mate. Coming, coming. Keep it straight. It's dragging a bit, but it's not. It's not going to fit, I don't reckon, down here. It's not going to damage. That'll fit. Okay. Yeah. Those boxes are quite strong. I hit a room with mine. <laughs> no, it's not going. <clears throat> Dig it out. Just jump on the back of the I'd start it, mate. Why not? Ryan! Ryan! If you can't. Oh, fucking hell. The back of the car is not going to be up the ground for a while. Oh, stop! Oh, that's not good. That was not. You're going to start now. Oh. I think it bent a bit. Oh. Yeah, the shit. back end of your car is bent down oh, so bad. <laughs> Oh, Bugger. Yeah. <laughs> it's only the back end of me car, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. just get young. You try. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I like him. <laughs> this is why I got the extended drawbar. <laughs> <laughs> so, moral of the story, the end of the gun shot, get an extended drawbar. <laughs> But, credit where credit's due, the camper is perfect. Look at that. Oh, oh, no. Except for a bit of wood. Anyway. No, but a bit of wood's fine. The whole rest of it. Camper is a lot stronger than the cruiser. <laughs> well done, Cub. Oh, I missed my camper. I wish it was here. <laughs> oh. So the guys are just telling me that there's an easy one um, over on the far left. So I'm like, okay, cool, that's fine. I'll, um, I'll go check out. That's the easy one. Our ideas of easy are different, I think. I, know, I mean, I've done a fair bit of four-wheel driving in my life, but Cape York is is just consistently. It's the obstacles are consistently hard. <laughs> okay, it isn't actually that bad, I've got to say. Um, oh, it's just very, very boggy. But like the angles on that one aren't the end of the world. As it turns out, the Delica's actually got very good. Oh, sorry, I should also say I know it's Delica. I know that the correct pronunciation of my car's name is Delica, but I'm Australian and we mispronounce things. So I know that it's Nissan. I know that it's Subaru. Yeah. We don't say that in Australia. It's just one of those Australianisms that we mispronounce Delica as Delica. Sorry, but it sounds weirder saying Delica in an Australian accent than pronouncing it correctly. So, sorry. All right. I must say, I have a lot more respect for Carson and Maxine after they did this in a bloody. Um, oh, check out the YouTube channel. It's, it's one of the. It's one of those channels I've been binging recently. 
Um, they are great content and they did this in a two-wheel drive combi. <laughs> but they did the old telly in a two-wheel drive combi. Like psychos. Well done. What are you gonna do? Oh, the middle one? Middle one? That one. That one? Mm -hmm. The cub one? The cub, the cub one. crunch? With less tailgate smash. <laughs> well, you're not tiring your camper. Correct. <laughs> Maybe a bit of bull bar smash, but that's okay. Well, after the after the way you did palm, honestly, I, I think it'd be fine. This is just a bit slipperier. Yeah, I know, but down your, your entry and exit angles are so good. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm not too stressed. Just gotta wait for everyone else. It's a real Queensland thing, isn't it? The, the old Crocs. Yeah. Even though you're not from Queensland, you're high from the and, High and low range. Yep. <laughs> Whoa, lock the hubs. More capable than a Delica. <laughs> there are a lot of Crocs around here. Crocs, and then Crocs, and then Crocs. Behind you is another couple of sets. A uh, 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 uh. <laughs> lot of Crocs. I think, I've never had Crocs before. I think I want to buy some. 100% buy some. I got some. I got given some as a piss take, and now I wear them frequently. They're that good. They're annoyingly Side comfortable. Down, bro, they lock in. Yeah, see? <laughs> and you can't even see. Here's Look at a, this. Here's a camouflage They've crop. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I'm going to do it. I highly recommend Harry. Get a pair of, get a pair of Crocs. Crocs Australia, if you're listening. Harry needs a pair. Yeah. You can even fucking... I'll, I'll pay for it with the employees. You can, yeah. Because <laughs> I don't, jazz I don't have 50 bucks. <laughs> you can jazz them up too. Well, I won't have 50 bucks after doing this little, stupid track. You can get little clip-ons, <laughs> jewelry things for them. If I had a four croc attachments, I'd buy one. You'd buy one. No. Uh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to experiment. I'm out there. Social experiment. It's not great. Oh, this dog is my favourite. He is my favourite thing about today. Okay, bud. Sorry, Fred, I'm treating on you. <laughs> buddy. So apparently a couple of years ago, there was a guy who tried to do this with a Prada on a camper. What kind of an idiot would have a Prada on a camper? Um, <laughs> tried to do this and ended up on his lid in there. That's not a good day. That's a really, really average day. So I've been told the far right one is pretty good. So, oh, that's pretty good actually. If that's got a hard bottom, I mean, this is the best of a bad choice. There are honestly like nine gunshots. It's ridiculous. But I did gunshot. Like, which one? It doesn't tell me anything. Okay, so I'm gonna bring the 79 through first. So I've got an anchor point. And um, then we'll bring the deli through. Bring Dennis. You didn't know, this car's called Dennis Denoto the Delica. If you don't understand that reference, you need to watch The Castle. It's one of the greatest movies of all time the vibe of the thing. <clears throat> it's amazing how you can draw a crowd. Ah. Yep. Stop. So I'll get a camera on the back. Good. Oh. I just wouldn't want to dent your car. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more worried about the car. <laughs> Saving grace is I'm lighter. Well, he's knocked that out of the park. Absolutely knocked that out of the park. Dennis was stoked but shitting himself at the same time. I'm shitting myself. Perfect. No, stay that side, yep. Good. Just a spin. Left 
hand down, a bit right hand down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well played, sir. Well played. I'll get out of your boat. Well played, mate. You little ripper! <laughs> Thanks, lads. Okay, so this text bit, I didn't have the GoPro rolling or anything, so I didn't think much of it. I drove up it. It did take me, you know, take takes me a couple of goes. After this, I watched about six cars fail, dual cab utes winch up, all this stuff. It was amazing how many people couldn't drive this, and I think it's just the fact that the deli, the whole body flexes, and it just kind of went up like a little mountain goat. I was very proud of this one. This is heaven. This is actually heaven. Look at this. So we got all the tracks. So I'm watching four wheel drives you know, fail and succeed. And then look here. It's the most incredible water. So I've just been sitting in the water like this, watching cars go down. I could stay here all day. Let's watch Macy do this. Yeah. She knocked out of the box. <laughs> yeah, mate. Woohoo! Easy. Well done, mate. Smiles for nice. Yeah. Stoked? Yeah. Well done. So I think we're at Cockatoo Creek. This thing loves a belt squeal after a river crossing. Um, let's go and have a look. Oh, wow. Oh, this is stunning. The crocodiles and it's so good. <laughs> I'm assuming we have the same one. What you want to do if you want some action, you all get across the other side and just play it cool. And then when the others turn up, you wave them across like the drive straight in front. So wh wh where do you go? What's the best way? Gonna go over there. That way and then back around. So there's a big hole. Oh yeah. So another one that's not big but a little step over there. So there? Yeah. Hole there and a hole here? Yeah. This, this is the big problem. Okay. The maker goes here. Yeah, Delhi goes there <laughs> in the big hole. And then they get all the YouTube views. <laughs> and it pays for one twentieth of my delica. <laughs> Diamond in the rough, I don't know what it is they see in me. Go down as a legend in my city, cause we beat the streets. Trying to spread the wealth around the block, no, I can't keep from me. Oh, oh. not too bad. Um, friggin' climbing through wombat holes that are actually a little bit harder than I thought. Okay, let's go around to the left. God, this thing, bloody Mitsubishi belt squeal after a water crossing. It's just shocking. Well, the guys were saying he had a Triton before. Um, and that was um, exactly the same. Must be a Mitsubishi thing. Not enough ribs on your belts, guys. Oh. I just saw Colin go through that and it was very deep. Oh, God. Oh, wow. This is not ideal. I'll put it in low range. Windows up, I think. This one. Bit of belt squeal after that one. You're losing a weather strip. Am I? You're losing a little rubber strip just, off the front guard. Just push it in. Right. <laughs> That's great. Right. That was so good. It was deeper than I thought. Wind screen, mate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you. you. That's what happens when you drive a door wedge. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at this weather strip. Like, oh, 
I try and push all the rocks and push it out of the front of it. <laughs> yeah, just a little rubber strip on that. That's got water in it for sure. But uh, that's alright. It's full driving with an old car. Oh. Tell you what, I bought the cheapest seat covers from um, Super Cheap I could uh, that are waterproof. But these just they are like 40 bucks for the front seats. They are getting well used. I am still soaking wet from gunshot so yeah they they work they don't fit well they don't look good they don't feel good but they are waterproof <laughs> and that is all i need for this car i'd love some super fits in it but it's, that's not the budget it's not the 10-year tourer 10-minute tourer all right, we're at Fruit Bat Falls. Cool, so we'll stop and have some lunch. And um, go down and have a look. Oh, I don't know. Oh, this is incredible. Look at this. Oh yeah, I'm about this. I'm so about this. Oh, how good. Oh mate, how good is this? It's I know I didn't know what to expect. No, I recognised it immediately yeah. from like cameras, from YouTube and stuff. But like, wow! Oh, oh, oh! Let's do this! Oh. Unreal! Three thirty. Uh, we're nearly at the end. I think we've got about ten k's to go or something till we get to Knowles, and then we're going to spend a day at Knowles and enjoy the show. Basically, camp there for the day. Um, so there's one more creek. One, well, not one more. There's a creek here. We're going to cross. Nip across that, and then I'm very keen to get to camp and chill. Driving all day, full driving all day, is exhausting. Uh, it's not something I usually do. I usually do, I, I usually go camping as opposed to four-wheel driving. Not that this is purely for four-wheel driving, it's just, anyway. Yeah, it's very different to, um, like, yeah, I can do 12 hours of highway driving, no worries. Um, but I find this sort of technical, consistent four-wheel driving actually quite exhausting. Not, not in a complaining way, it's, a, it's like a good time, like, oh, I've done something, so yeah. Is she gonna hit the bum? Is she gonna hit the bum? Oh, yep, there it is. Yep. Thankfully, we've established the delay cars a better exit angle than a 70 series. <laughs> Who knew? Whose stupid idea was it to do a Cape York in a van?
observant. A little crossing. was gnarly. <laughs> mm. Least squeaky brakes so far. Yes. Pregnant Pajero, broken Pajero. Didn't go so well. Let's hope our pregnant Pajero doesn't end up like that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How does that feel? Yeah, <laughs> Okay, good to know. exactly what I did too. Oh, 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 that's fun. Oh, Nathan will love that. Oh, the awning and, oh. Yeah, it's just, it's deep and it's just pain in the arse. You got lockers in that, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, I help. Yeah, I do not. <laughs> Everyone nah. else has lockers. I winch myself up there. Is that me? Yeah. So you can see we scraped our fuel tanks in there. Oh, not me, the Prado scraped the fuel tanks. Oh really? Yeah, okay. They're quite big rough. Okay, so my aircon sounds absolutely terrible. Ignore the normal belt squeak, but if I have to turn the aircon on. It does this, right? I'm looking at it, and it looks like when these fans turn on, missing that clip or bolt or whatever there. So, cable tie. Turn that off. There's like one clip holding that whole grill on. So this thing here is loose. Looks like it had a bolt or something in there, which is no longer. So this guy. These are 100% the photos I want actually. Is it broken? Sort of. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Toolkit. I knew this would get used. This is actually, this is the same toolkit that I actually built the car with. So it's got everything. 
Okay, 10 mil. So, yeah. Oh, trying not to get this run over. Um, these tool kits, by the way, I went to Super Cheap and tried to get a cheap tool kit, and they were like ah. 50 bucks more than the pro proper quality Barco set. So, I was like, well, I'll just get the Barco oh, set. So, you get it from A247. Uh, I actually got a discount code for you, put it on the screen. Uh, F, FTF20, I think. Or F2F20, one of the two. 20 bucks off. But seriously, like I just bought the toolkit I wanted to buy, and it was this one. And I happen to have a discount code already. Tighten all these up. Oh, that's, these two are so loose. That explains a lot. And that just, that bolt's just completely missing now. So, the zip tie will hold that in place for the rest of the trip. Got a bit of bush mechanics. Okay, let's try this out. Unplug that fan, it will no longer run. See, I broke a blade when I went in the water. Ah. So I'll just have one of my aircon condenser fans, not two. So I'll just quickly tape that up so that doesn't spin and vibrate. Bush mechanics! <laughs> quickly get some electrical tape. Bit of electrical tape. Tape this up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Singing like a bird. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> this isn't sketchy. Nah. This looks a hundred bucks, man. <laughs> <laughs> 